In this video, we're going to have a look at the idea of variable acceleration kinematics and apply it to this exam question here. So look at the top right hand corner of the screen first of all. So we've got displacement, which is usually denoted by the letter S. If we differentiate that with respect to time, the rate of change of displacement with respect to time is the same as velocity. Velocity is rate of change of displacement with respect to time. If we differentiate it again, dv by dt, well the rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. So if we differentiate displacement, we get to velocity. If we differentiate velocity, we get to acceleration. If we integrate, i.e. work backwards, acceleration, we get velocity. And if we integrate velocity, we get back to displacement. So differentiating with respect to time gets us to velocity. Differentiating again with respect to time gets us to acceleration. Integrating with respect to time gets us back up to velocity. And integrating with respect to time gets us back up to displacement. So let's apply that to this question. So it says a particle P travels in a straight line. The velocity of P at time t seconds after it's passed through fixed point A is given by that expression there, 0.6t squared plus 3. Find the velocity of P when it passes through A. So the expression that gives the value of velocity, 0.6t squared plus 3, is at time t seconds after passing through the point A. So that tells us that the point A is passed through when t equals 0. So we're going to let t equal 0, which means that velocity is 0 0.60 squared plus 3 equals 3 meters per second. And units are important. We should always write the units in applied mechanics questions. Part 2. The displacement of P from A when T equals 1.5. Right, so we're going to have to integrate here. So we're going to integrate. So the time at which we're wanting to find the displacement is 1.5. And we want it relative to when T equals 0. So the integral between 1.5 and 0 of 0.6 T squared plus 3 dt equals, okay, so let's integrate that. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 0.6t cubed over 3 plus 3t between 1.5 and 0. And 0.6 divided by 3 is 0.2t cubed plus 3t between 1.5 and 0 and as with all integration questions we should then sub in the limits two big empty brackets and to get the extra mark in the exam in the event of a wrong answer we should write it like this this is the best way to ensure you get as many marks as possible for a potentially wrong answer so 0 0.2 1.5 cubed plus three lots of 1.5 take 0.2 0 cubed plus 3 lots of 0 we should all it's obvious that that's going to be 0 but we should always write this down so that the examiner knows that you've acknowledged that there's two limits to this integration so to get the mark you need to show 0 being subbed in okay so now putting in the calculator so we've got 0 0.2 times 1.5 cubed plus 3 lots of 1.5 equals 207 over 40 take 0 equals 207 over 40 which as a decimal is 5.175 equals 5.175 meters units again are important then part three, the velocity of P when it has acceleration six. 
So we want to find acceleration now. So we've got that V equals 0.6 T squared plus 3. So if we differentiate that to get acceleration equals 1.2 T. And we're told that the acceleration is equal to 6. So the acceleration 1.2 T equals 6. Which means that T equals 6 over 1.2. Which is 5 seconds. So it's asked us for the velocity at this time at 5 seconds. Therefore V equals 0 0.6. Lots of 5 squared plus 3 so putting in the calculator 0 0.6 lots of 5 squared plus 3 equals 18 and it's velocity so the units are meters per second for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to our youtube channel